In an unbelievable move, even by its own standards, Israel has now banned the Palestinian flag. According to Israel's far-right security minister, Itamar ben Gavir, displaying the flag will now be viewed as identifying with terrorism. Ben Gavir also recently stormed Al-Aqsa Mosque in a dangerous and provocative move deliberately designed to inflame tensions. Banning the Palestinian flag is the latest attempt by Israel to double down on its assault on Palestinian liberty and identity. The fact is the Palestinian flag remains a symbol of resistance against a decades-long illegal military occupation. This is the reason Israel have banned the flag and anyone with any knowledge on the issue already knows this. Beyond that, the Palestinian struggle which the flag represents has also been a source of inspiration to many liberation movements all over the world. Itamar Ben Gavir tweeted about the decision to ban the flag, saying that the move was designed to fight terrorism. Palestinians, however, waving a Palestinian flag in Palestine can never ever be terrorism. But now, any Israeli police officer of any status has the power to remove any Palestinian flag from public spaces. If this isn't the definition of apartheid and tyranny, then someone needs to define what is. The last few years have seen Israel ramp up the attacks on Palestinian life and their right of self-determination in their own country which is enshrined in international law. Ben Gavir can try to ban the Palestinian flag, but the move may backfire and we may see even more Palestinian flags in retaliation. Palestinians have not stopped flying the flag and they never will. Ben Gavir's banning of the Palestinian flag is just plain ugly. Moves like this continue to give the Palestinians more and more support globally. While most governments continue to support Israel, the clamping down on Palestinian freedom is the reason why calling Israel an apartheid occupation has become more and more normalized. 